It may not surprise you to know that Iceland, a small island in the North Atlantic, is diligent about sustainability. They use geothermal energy sources, limit waste, and even create souvenir t-shirts from recycled plastic trash. However, you might be surprised that in a small town in the West Fjords, 30 miles from the Arctic Circle, there are Icelandic surfers and a company that is changing the way the world treats chronic wounds. Karasis, in true Icelandic fashion, is repurposing a byproduct that used to be thrown away. Most of people that are amputated are amputated because of chronic wounds. People uh, hit a radiator or hit a corner on their bed and they get a small wound. And uh, sometimes that wound gets bigger and bigger because of the lack of vascularization. You treat this with wound dressings and then you have also more sophisticated treatment methods like transplants from the hip and, and some skin substitutes. But unfortunately, many times these wounds lead to amputations. But Karasis has developed an alternative treatment to help prevent that. Under the fish skin, under the scales, there is this amazing structure, this amazing structure that you can use in tissue management or tissue regeneration. When we, we put our material into a wound, the cells think they are in a human habitat. They migrate into our material, they regenerate the wound, they close it without scars and leave behind quite evolved and, and, and regenerated tissue. When looking under a microscope, you can see the ecliptic porous uh, holes in the structure, and then it makes sense. This is skin-for-skin -skin replacement. The fish is caught in relatively small ships here, and before the fillets are, are further processed, they're actually de-skinned. And our employee goes very early in the morning to the fish processing plants and collects uh, skins. The viruses and, and, and potential diseases, they don't transmit to humans. So that makes it possible for us to gently process the fish skin and retain the three-dimensional structure of it. We remove the cells gently, uh, we retain the elastin, the glycans, the fats, some of the fats of omega-3, the soluble collagens and the insoluble collagens. If, however, we were working with a mammalian uh, sourced product, we need to virally inactivate it with detergents and alcohol. And then you dissolve many of the elements of the skin. You remove all the fats, all the glycans, all the elastin. So it's actually not very similar to human skin. So, so processed uh, pig tissue, for example, is not very similar to your own skin. Gently processed fish skin is actually much more similar to human skin. In the past, couple of years we, we have performed uh, two randomized controlled studies that actually show that the, the similarity and this gentle processing method actually results in, in, to, in, in clinical efficacy. So actually we are able to close wounds faster and better. But of course it's not a wonder drug or a wonder product. It, it, uh, it doesn't heal wounds miraculously. You, you still need good wound care. You need to have a good clinicians, good secondary wound dressings and so on, and you need to have good care for the patients. But when you have all of this, when you have a cutting edge medical facility, like, like East Liverpool City Hospital, with really good wound care, then actually this all comes together and, and our product really works wonders and prevents amputations. When I first heard about Kerasis, I was actually training in Georgia. I just heard a snippet of information about this fish skin that they were using to heal wounds. I came back to our local facility, I did my own research, and I decided that that was a technology I really wanted to bring to our community. I wanted to have the best possible advancements here that we could have for our patients. Oh, I'm 100% sure the fish skin's what healed my leg up yeah, really fast. I, mean, I just see it as a night and day difference. When I was coming up here, nothing was going on. They started using that, and every time they come up here every couple of days, there was something changed on them, I mean, just that fast. Nobody's heard of it in this area. It's not something that anybody else has right now. So I'm excited to be a part of East Liverpool. We're such a small community, but to be able to have these things that even some of the bigger hospitals like Pittsburgh and all that, they are not seeing. So to be able to be in that small time feel, but using things that are advancements that most people haven't even heard of is just great. Karasis and East Liverpool City Hospital, making a difference one patient at a time.